Hello and welcome to the Hush Hush Family Channel. We are here at Thorpe Park for Fright Nights, yay! And as normal, we're going to be taking you around, showing you the queue times and the different entertainment that's on offer. We're all so excited to be here. I can't wait to show you around. I think the first thing we're going to be getting on today is stealth, according to Caden. Is that right? Yeah. So let's have it. don't get the chance to come here often and I'm telling you when we do brings that feeling back nice of a bit of a change from Alton Towers and we're here zero minutes and oh my god am I excited zero minutes on that board so we're going for a row, I don't know what to say. I'm not standing for half an hour for front row. We're getting straight on. So excited. The zero minute queues brought us to this point, and there's Geo Luck. Waiting patiently. There, dude. But it's definitely worth waiting 15 minutes for. What do you say? Yeah. Well, I felt that one. That pulled some in. What do you think of that, Caden? It was alright. I mean, it wasn't the best ride I've had on it, but... No, oh, I don't know about that. Wow, honestly, first ride of the day, half ten in the morning. Wow, oh my God. I don't think I breathed until I got to the top. Love it so much. Now we're heading over to Swarm and I believe it's on a 20 minute queue and I think this is my favourite ride in the park. Caden's favourite is Stealth, mine's Swarm, although I don't know, after that ride on Stealth this morning, uh, it's hard to decide. Anyway, we're on our way over to Swarm, which I love, so let's go see how long it takes us to get on this. Now it's staying 10 minutes and it looks like it'll be 10 minutes to be honest with you. Let's go and have a look. On the other side of the station there isn't anybody there so we might have to rush over to that side. That was a great ride on Swarm. I do really love that coaster. I think my favourite part about it is the way that it tips over when it goes into that first inversion. It's just amazing and it's so smooth as well. After having ridden the Smiley yesterday, which isn't really, not that smooth these days, very rattly, that was just beautiful. What a ride. So Rush is currently on a 10 minute queue. So I thought while we're here, we'll get on this because we didn't do this last time we're here. And here's a look at it. I've not been on one of these before. I've been on similar things, it'll give similar sensations, but I've not been on this, so it's a first for me. So 
the rush was all right, but uh, I won't be rushing to go back on that, eh? <laughs> yeah, it's a very short cycle. I think it peaked twice and that was it. I think we get a better cycle on Blade at Alton Towers. I mean, I try not to compare these rides to each other, but it's hard not to. So now we're going over to the Angry Birds 4D experience. That's on at 12 o'clock. Uh, we're doing that for Gio, really, because there's not too much here for him. As much as there is some stuff, uh, we've got to make the most of what is here for him. So we're going to go and do that. Thank you, and we hope you have a great flight through Angry Birds Land at Thorpe Park Resort. Just come out of the Angry Birds 4D experience. What did you think of that, Gio? Yeah, it's a bit of a shock. It gave, it gave me a bit of a fright, but it's a good experience. We've done better. We've definitely done better, haven't we? But that was okay. We enjoyed it, definitely. And it's just another thing for the little ones to do while they're here. So what do you think we're going to do now, Gio? We're going to Dodge Gyms. On those slides. Yeah, you're not quite big enough, are you? A few more centimetres. Right, let's go and find those slides, shall we? I know where the slides are, I know. You can see in there, look. So here's a new play area. Gio's just going to show you about. The slides are called depth charge, which I didn't actually know. Silly me. And here we go, we're about to get on. I think we can get on together with this one. Something else I've never done before. And Geo can get on this. Fantastic. Guess between 0 0.9 and 1.2 must be accompanied by an adult. So you can do this on your own, mate. Are you going to get on with me or are you going to go on your own? Probably you can. I think I can go on one time and you can go on one time. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Here is the stairs. I'll give you a view from the top. That's a friendly pigeon. Yeah. Can't touch him. It looks like you could though. How's it going, pigeon? Oh, it's off. Oh, he's landed on his head. Average uh, slide, wasn't it, mate? Quite quick, wasn't it? Yep, it was excellent. I thought we were going to go in the air at one point. Like we all were. Like we did. What? We got some air, didn't we? Like this, it was like fly okay, but like the second we got the second. We did. We went zooming, didn't we? Oh, we enjoyed that one. Right, on to the next. reunited with Caden here he is and we're going on the walking dead the ride and we've not done that before we didn't get a chance last time we were here because we were concentrating on the big five but we're trying to make sure we tick all the boxes this time so we're heading over now he's on a half an hour queue 10 minutes let's see if it actually is shall we Just come off the Walking Dead, and uh, I don't know. I had high hopes for that. Some people have said that it's like their favourite ride in this park, and do you know what? I don't know. 
two out of ten from me for that. Two out of ten. Yeah, the black hole on towers is better than that. What do you make of that, mate? Don't like it. It's <laughs> boring. Boring. God. Bring him all this way, and he tells me things are boring. So ungrateful. Well, we're reunited with the family. We got Gio here, and we're going to get on Quantum, which is over here. You lost. So as Fright Nights are open until 9pm, we've dropped Geo back off at the hotel because it gets a bit tiring all this travelling around the country. We were in Alton Towers yesterday, Thorpe Park today, Chessington tomorrow and then Thorpe Park again. So we just thought it best that we drop him back off and let him have a bit of a rest in between. But that means, of course, that me and Caden can smash this place now, which is amazing. So let's go and see what the queues are like now. Today is an off-peak day. We're here on a Monday. And funnily, the queues have died down the later it's gone. So we're on three o'clock right now, and I'd say the, the queues have halved. Halved, definitely, yeah? Lovely KFC, didn't we? Yeah, proper nice. Very expensive. <laughs> no Merlin discount. Terrible. And now we're going over to Saw. And I don't know why, because I know it's probably going to hurt. We'll see. I haven't checked the queue times, have we? I need to check the queue times, actually. Saw is currently on a 10 minute queue, which is amazing. We like 10 minute queues. Here's a look at it. Going this way. There's the main entrance. Ten minutes. Certainly getting our money's worth today. That was a great ride on Stell. Do like it. Doesn't half pull some G's that ride, but nonetheless we enjoy it. Now we're gonna have our first ride on Samurai. It's advertised as 35 minute queue, but I don't see 35 minutes worth of people at all. Look, there they are. Nobody there. I'd call that walk on. Bit of a different ride. I'm not quite sure I understand that ride to be honest with you, but it was fun. Not a great decision after a KFC, but it stayed down, which I'm thankful for. Enjoy that? Yeah, it was all right. Not the best, like. But we didn't have to queue very much for it, which is good. Now we're going to give this a go. We've got no idea what it is. I'm guessing it's something to do with mirrors. Thanks, Colossus. Ten minutes. Let's go for it. come off the black mirror labyrinth and I don't know a bit of a waste of time don't recommend it a little bit fun but not a roller coaster if you've heard of project exodus we thought we'd take this opportunity to just come in here while we can because we've not been in here before this is where one of the mazes is and I believe we're still waiting for the environmental agency to okay this new ride but everybody else has if you don't already know about it, it's going to be the UK's tallest coaster and it is going somewhere in here. 
and it is only open for the purpose of uh, fright nights at the minute but I thought that while we're here given that we've never been in this park before it'd be rude not to just come and have a look there's the Rocky Express I think we're going to head over to Swarm now my choice Swarm boom five minute queue let's have it Honestly, we can only laugh at these people, but it is funny. <laughs> I just wouldn't pay for these sorts of things. But we can't complain when it's free. Is there that's good we're happy with that it's not bad at all can't complain and then we come out here no, it's good theming isn't it mate yeah it's all right like one of the guys touched my arm i don't think he meant to he right. jumped out and like punched my arm at least it was only your arm mate i know right what's next stealth oh, wow yeah, stealth. that's looking great wow so the first people waiting for the legacy fire and light display which is here to get good seats to give you good highlights and obviously get a good view for ourselves uh, i'm going to include highlights in this video but i will upload the full video to our channel so keep your eyes out for that if you haven't seen it yet welcome fear seekers i am the locksmith keeper of keys here in my workshop i handcraft the keys and doorways and lock gateways to your worst nightmares. much into a small space I'm a DJ I know my lights but that was decent really limited with space there but do you know what wow that packed a punch and I felt the heat off those flames stood so close what did you think Caden that was actually really good it was pretty loud as well I love dubstep and that's all they played so I've got to give it more credit booming absolutely booming and it's just making me look forward to the Alton Towers fireworks honestly Wow, brilliant. Now then, we're on for a nighttime ride on stealth. I feel like we've been on this all day. I don't know how my body takes it. But we love it. First ever nighttime ride on stealth. Let's go see what that's like. We 
didn't expect it, but as time's gone on today, the queues have got less and less, to the point where we're getting nighttime rides at five minutes apiece. Can't complain. We've had walk on stealth. I'll include some clips of that, of course. Walk on swarm. We're heading over to Colossus now. And then I think we're gonna get on Nemesis before we head home. I'll let you know how this goes. So we also got on Darren Brown's ghost train and I had low expectations of that, but actually, wow, what an amazing ride. Of course, it's not perfect. You know, the VR wasn't great, but I really enjoyed it. And I'm pretty sure Caden did too. Is that right? Yeah, I actually really enjoyed it to be honest. Definitely worth a re-ride. I highly recommend that to people. Uh, it's totally different to everything else here. And that's good, it's refreshing. It's nice to see different things. There's Colossus. In all its glory at night. And Colossus has been on a 50 minute queue most of the day. So to see it on a five minute queue, we're just spoiled. We've got half an hour left to enjoy the day. And there it is, five minutes on the board. Not sure if you can see that, it's a bit bright. We're going for it. We just had our last ride here at Thorpe Park, front row on Colossus. It's not a bad way to end the day. And to be honest with you, it was running quite smooth. I mean, I'm pleasantly surprised actually, compared to last time, it was quite rough. What do you think, Cade? I think it was all right. I mean, we, how long did we wait? About an hour? No, I think it was, I don't know, 40 minutes in the end. So what was supposed to be five, 10 minute queue, it turned out to be a 40 minute queue in the front row, but well worth it, we're not here often. So that brings us to the end of our day here at Thorpe Park, and of course, the end of our video. We hope you've enjoyed it, and if you have, don't forget to like. Until next time, peace.